Hello, today I will be sharing my moveset for Hatterene. The idea of this moveset is to take a super effective hit to activate the weakness policy while setting up Trick Room, and then once that's done, just do as much damage as possible. The item in this set is a weakness policy, which will increase your attack and special attack stats by two stages if you survive getting hit by a super effective move. The nature in this set is quiet, which will make you as slow as possible, while at the same time giving you as much special attack as possible. The ability is Magic Bounce, which will reflect any status moves back at the opponent. Keep in mind that this is the hidden ability, so you might need to catch your, your Hatterene in a Raid Den, might need to breed for it, or even save your ability patch for it. Since this is a Trick Room set, you'll want to have a speed IV as low as possible, ideally zero. And if you care about rare markings, you might want to settle for a speed IV within the decent range. Also, when hypertraining, do not use gold bottle caps and do not hypertrain your speed stat. For the EVs, I EV trained my Hatterene to have as much overall bulk as possible so that it has as good a chance as possible to survive a super effective hit to activate the weakness policy. So 250 EVs in HP, 4 EVs in defense, 4 EVs in special defense, and I maxed out special attack with 252 EVs. To figure out the EVs, I had used an online EV calculator, and the link to that is in the description. For the moves, we have Dazzling Gleam, our strongest fairy type move that isn't Misty Explosion. We have Psy Shock, a psychic type move, which attacks the opponent's physical defense, so we don't have to worry about getting walled by special defensive walls such as Chansey or Blissey. The third move is Mystical Fire, which will lower the opponent's special attack, and it's good at dealing with steel types, especially stuff like Ferrothorn. Lastly, we have Trick Room, which will make the slower Pokemon move first, while making faster Pokemon move last for the next few turns. My Hatterene is the Gigantamax one, so when if you choose to use the Gigantamax Hatterene, Dazzling Gleam becomes G-Max Smite, which confuses the opponent. If you go with the regular Dynamax Hatterene, it will become Max Starfall instead, which will set up Misty Terrain. Psyshock becomes Max Mindstorm, which sets up Psychic Terrain and makes your Psychic moves stronger, and it also protects you from priority moves. Mystical Fire becomes Max Flare, which sets up Sunlight, and makes your fire attacks even more powerful. And Trick Room becomes Max Guard, which can help stall out an opponent's Dynamax turns. If you're against a Dragapult that starts off with Phantom Force, you could set up Trick Room and then use the Max Guard to avoid getting hit and then just destroy it with either G-Max Smite or Max Starfall. Anyways, that was my Hatterene moveset. I hope that this moveset works for you. Have a nice day, and thanks for watching.